Rachel and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on a highly requested skill and my favorite gymnastics skill, a handstand. But there are a lot of handstand tutorials out there. You know, how to get up into a handstand. So I'm not going to be focusing on that. I'm going to be focusing on how to hold the handstand. Because, well, that's the cool part. Well, since I can't stand on my feet, I have to stand on my hands anyways. So. This just makes sense. Why can't you stand on your feet? <laughs> okay. Rachel's gonna teach you how to do a proper handstand and hold it. Here's the thing, she doesn't wanna brag, which is smart, but she's really, really good at handstands. She can hold a handstand one minute 59. Yeah, and also, stay safe, make sure you warm up your wrist properly because I've done handstands, and Rachel's done handstands, and we've both had our wrists pop out of place. So, yeah, you don't want to deal with that. All right, before we get into the handstand, you need to stretch. I can't stress this enough. If you do not stretch properly, you can injure yourself doing anything as simple as a forward roll. So before doing any type of gymnastics, you need to make sure you're stretching all the muscles that you're going to be using. Watch out for the big pole. Yeah, I know. <laughs> can we? Hey, Brayden, come here. Do you want to learn how to do a handstand? Hey, Brayden. Brayden. Do you want to learn how to handstand? Brayden, Brayden, Brayden. Yeah. All right, step one to a handstand is making sure that you have the strength to do the skill. Thank you, man. Should I use these for push ups? Put it right there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do push ups, yes? You're not gonna want to push. Braden's just telling you how to do it properly. Keep those abs tight. Feet up. <sighs> Keep your shoulders up. Put your toes. Hold that. Point your toes, dude. Point your toes. Point them. The next step is to practice your handstands up against a wall. This will get you used to being upside down for long periods of time and give you support while you try and fix your shape. Hey guys, when you're doing handstand, make sure that you have un something underneath you. To fall in, get soft. And like Rachel. Ay -ya. The next step is to practice a half handstand. A half handstand is where you put your hands on the floor and your legs up on a raised surface. This is the best way to fix your shape for your upper body in the handstand. So our next step is to work on our hand placement. Hand placement is really important in a handstand because it pretty much controls whether or not you're going to be balanced or imbalanced. Proper hand placement for a handstand would be hands shoulder width apart. To determine what shoulder width apart is for you, put your hands directly in front of you without putting them out to the side or putting them together. What's natural? That's gonna be shoulder width apart. Make sure when you put your hands down on the floor that you're putting them there and not any wider or not any closer together. When your hands are on the floor, make sure your fingers are facing forward, not out to the side, and not faced in, because this can hurt your wrists. Another good thing to help you balance in a handstand is to use your fingers as leverage when you start to fall in one direction.
The next thing that we're going to be working on is keeping your whole body tight and in a straight line. It's easier to stay up on a single point if you're in a straight line. Any deviation from that line is going to throw off your balance. Think about standing a pencil up. If you put it to the side just a little bit, it's going to fall over. There's no way it can stand up. So make sure you're in one straight line, hands to toes. The next thing we're going to be talking about is head placement. This is just as important as hand placement for the balance of a handstand because putting your head out or in is going to be a deviation from that straight line we just talked about. The next step to holding your handstand is to practice entering into the handstand in different ways. This will help you get more comfortable on your hands. The next step is to point your toes because small things like toes can make a huge difference in how clean your handstand looks. And just like how we practiced <laughs> staying in a straight line, if you flex your feet, you're going to change that straight line. Also, I can't point that one. <laughs> the final step is to practice. Because even if you follow all of this advice and all of my tips, you're most likely not going to be able to hold a handstand for a minute the first time you go up. But the more you practice, the better you're going to get at it. And that counts for anything in life. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed that video and I really hope it helped you with your handstand and if it did, be sure to let me know in the comments down below and give this video a thumbs up uh, because thumbs ups really mean a lot to me. And I will see you guys next time. Bye! Thumbs up to help her English. <laughs> put your arms up. You gotta put them up like that. We're trying to teach him how to do a handstand. Okay, and now you're gonna put your hands on the floor. Put your hands on the floor, it's not your face. Woo, good job Brayden! Yeah! Whoa. Good job, high five? Low five. Yeah! Good job, Raiden. Alright, get out of here. Good job. Beautiful gymnastics. Fantastic. Slow down, buddy. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
killed me. <laughs> what you got there? Do you know what this is? It goes to the bottom of the uh, springboard thing. The spring. Oh, the trampoline board. Thing. Yeah, there we go. Bing, bing. He shook. <laughs> 